Good morning everybody and welcome back and today we have long awaited a quick look at the new or final version of the or the refined version of the Koro from Alipo. This is now a grown up Manchu, I can tell. And I got a special edition with some special features. <laughs> First of all, hey, what did I do with the string here? So, first have a look at the bow. It's written there, it's 40 pounds at 35. Then what you get is a nice manchu looking handle with this cork or something. Ray skin, ray skin, and this decoration. This is real birch bark and then there is some black paint and torn off something I have no idea completely. And for the rest, it's, I think the string bridge got a little bigger. A black belly, bam, a lamb. Oh, ho, 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 nice. It looks just pretty, this bow. Just pretty. Uh, all the technical specifications you can f oh, find on the website with gram per pound and prices and stuff. I don't know, this bow is most probably not on the website yet. The string is nice, three-parted string with these extra loops tied there. Really, really nice. What you get now with Alibo when you get a Shonkoro is always, and you need to use it, a stringer. And now, as I never used one, we need to learn how to do it. We do this together, do we? Shall we? Yes. And let's see what we get. We put the string in one loop, uh, in one groove. <laughs> Oh, they knock tight, so the string ends are quite thick and the knocks are very narrow. So this is one thing. Then we need to place the string here. Over one seer. Over the other seer. Like so. Oi, oi, oi. So, look, what you need to do is then you spread these two apart as wide as possible and you make a stand as wide as possible, otherwise these loops will slide in again. That's the tricky part, I guess. So, now we fiddle the string underneath here through. And hold it here in place. And now actually what you only need to do is raise the bow. I'll just slide this a bit out here. So pull the bow up. Oi, oi, oi. Until you're there. You fill this one in here. Make sure that it's under the string bridge, under the string bridge. And you let go. So my first attempt. Not so bad. And Alibo tells you that you need to string your bow like this. And once you do the stringing a few times, then it's, I guess, easy and like second nature. I personally think now with my model, the brace side is a little low. And what I see is that the loops are a little too big. So this knot should lay on the string bridge. So the loops are a little too long. And with this then, of course, the brace set a little too short here, the same. And what happens then is, in the string bridge, there's a small groove, which is just enough for one string. Now I have two strands coming in there, and one is laying inside, one is laying outside, which can cause a slight twist. So I will shoot the bow now like this, and then most probably I will 
shorten these loops. Isn't it a pretty bow? Only the brace head is a little low, but I guess we will fix this later with these knots. And I will shoot the cylindrical manjo ring from Alibo. I put a little wet tape underneath because my fingers are just too thin today. That's what happens. Manchu, manchu. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Oh, kicks, should kick. I think the brace head is not okay. We need to fix that. It doesn't feel like it's supposed to be like this. Ooh, now we are oh, getting there. The arrow should be in the right grain per pound. So. Oh yeah. Shoulder was up, you saw that? Well, I tried, but these knots are so tight, it's... I need some tools or some pliers or something to open this, so I don't manage now. I will do... I will take it home and I will do it at home and try to fix that issue. That I get a little more bracelet. I twisted the string now gently, not a lot, so that I get at least a little more bracelet. Let's see what it's going to do. What I can tell you so far, the draw is amazing. <sighs> Need to be a little more. And the shooting experience is... <sighs> I would say the draw is as nice as a mariner but the shooting experience is more like a Manchu. The Mariner was always my favorite, but it's, in, it's a little too smooth, too gentle. It's not Manchu-like. AF is nicer, they don't draw that nice, but you feel the kick a little more than here. And this one is just... Ah, a little to the right still. Just the right kick. You know, you feel it, but it's not annoying, but you feel it, it's there. Wow. Full draw Friday today, so. Nice. Nice. Pigeon? Mm -mm. No, no, no. Don't even think about it. Cool. Oh, and I already get the feeling for it. Nice. Send a bit sideways like the good old Manjus. Oh, center shot. Nice. So I only think now the brace head is a little too low. I need to fix this and I might do then an update video. But for now, wow, not a speed monster as we know. But only that you see. Oh, why are you crooked today? Huh? Come on. Spread your legs. <laughs> Nobody ever had a problem. Ah, no, sh shut up. <sighs> Too early for these jokes. Let's see. Oh, the killer 153. And this is with 15 gram per pound, what Alibo recommends. Oh, that was bad shot, 155. Now these knocks a little small. When you have a thumb ring on it, not really working. No, 163. Ah, now I need to do it again. So 163 was the latest. Let's see what we can get more out of it. Huh? Ah, 155 again. Bad shot. So it's a little demanding, but you, if you get a manjupo, you want to learn to shoot the manjupo. 163 again. Nice. And one more. Come on. 
No, that was a bad shot, 153. So about 160 foot per, per second. With this string, 160 foot per second, easy. 15 gram per pound with this string, I am not happy. So I think I might order a replacement string, maybe then with the shorter loops and then I don't even fiddle with this one here. And I hope for the next video, when I fix the string or get a new string, I hope that my new arrows are finished and I get these uh, bamboo arrows. They are just not fletched yet, my archery is busy. And then I will even show you my new Manchu dress I get from Caesar. It looks really good and I want to show you all in total. Obviously, so let's see. Boy, that was bad shot. So you, but you feel it and you get instantly a feeling for it, how and what not. And you push a little and you pull a little and then it's fine. So here, back tension matters more than ever and your right elbow nah, nice look at this Oh, my shoulder. Keep your shoulder down. Yup, and then it works. Awesome. Is this bow demanding to shoot? Yes, a little. So it's a different experience if you never shot a Manchu bow. Is it worth learning it? <laughs> For sure. This is, there are some different, I don't know, you simply need to get the feel for this bow. It's a different beast than all the other bows, but it's rewarding. It's very, very rewarding. This is, chuck! And this penetration power, even with a 40 pounder, You hear that? <laughs> it's you want to have one, and you want to really this long draw. It's like with cameras, you know. You start with the small sensor cameras, point and shoot, then you go up to full frame. Now I have full frame cameras, and now the next step is medium format because once you draw that long, you miss it, and other bows. And if you like this kick, if you like to have this Manchu experience with this one, it's, I think, the best I got. I said the Mariner was for me always the benchmark, but it's so soft at the end, you almost don't feel that it's a Manchu. AF are really nice. They kick a little too much and the handle is for me too small, so I would need to uh, modify the handle of the AF, they're way too small. And this one has this, you know, it's even a little, cushy and soft this one you can hold and then you don't you still feel the kick but it's not you know it's not annoying you <laughs> and the loud noise comes now from the string so I really I shoot now three last arrows I don't want to stop shooting that's my problem but with this string I don't trust the string
Oh, bad shot. When you rush for the camera, it's stupid. These knocks are sh crap. I need to put M knocks on it. Oh, look at this. I know I don't flap my hand away, but it's me. Wow. <laughs> what can I say? I'm in love again. Look at this pretty ball. See us. Pretty well made. Big white string bridge. Awesome. The only thing I said, the knot. But here, look at this. And then it's a real birch bark glued on it. And then he put some black paint and ripped it off or something. It looks really nice. When I saw first the first photo from far, I was like, Ooh. but when you see it up close, it's really beautiful and works with this bow just fine. Nice uh, ray skin. The only thing I would like to see, and I'm nitpicky again, the, the seam is here. I would like to see that you make a nice cut in the back center, you know, where the, where the, where the ray skin comes together and not overlapping. So I don't see the need for having an overlapped ray skin. So here, you know, you cut it and you put it together and you make a nice proper seam, same here. So this would be one thing, but this grip is awesome. Holy bow. What a pretty bow. So I will fix this issue with the string. I hope I will get then my new fletched arrows, my bamboo Tonkin arrows, 36 inches with nice manjo fletching. I hope they are done by then. And then I will even dress up with this new manjo dress I got from Caesar, which is amazing. But it always takes hours to get dressed and to <laughs> but for the rest, if you're up for a mancho, what can I say? Uh, of course, Marina is good. You wait a year or something, I don't know. Um, and you get the, the, I don't want to say the female version, but a, but a very gentle version of a mancho. This one is more mancho, mancho, but the draw is equal if not better. So I hope I get my, 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 my draw machine soon, then I will do draw curves of all these bows. And it's like, but this bow, impressive. So really impressive, Zhangli, impressive. So there you have it, folks. Incredible bow. So if you're up for a manjo bow, this is your choice. And directly get the ring from Alibo, which is incredible. And preferably if your thumb, like mine today, is a little thinner, I use this veterinary tape, easy peasy, so no big deal. And for the rest, uh, I will fix this with a string, but I told you already, thank you very much, Sang Lee, for building this bow for me. And thank you all for watching. I catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.